He may be only a baby, just a year and a half old, but this hippo already has a mind of his own. Can we go on here? No. Oh, he's tied down. I mean, I have very strong legs. I had no idea that you were pushing I him with your legs. I have very strong legs. I thought you were putting like a board or something There's there. no stopping him. How do I stop him? I gotta put a what board What I'm saying is, is if we have something to help gently push him that way, like. Yeah, I had my legs halfway up Yeah, the that's tree. not the best thing. I, I had to make the decision after I realized that you were physically using your legs. I had to make the call and say, okay, that's it. We have to go to plan B, because A is not working. Okay, he's obviously not gonna leave the crate, so let's just hose the crate out. Then we can just take him right back in this and we can just set it right there and he can come out in his own sweet time. Carrie decides to decontaminate the crate he flew over in. They use a simple mixture of bleach and water. Happy Hippo Day! Come and watch the hippo go on his new pet. You guys are the first visitors to see the new addition. This is the last leg of a journey that started 11,000 miles and 12 time zones away. Like the excitement is just Gary, like I'm only going to be able so to So awesome. It. Like finally like sitting Gary. here with my hippo and going this way. I'm talking. Can you let me talk for once? They're well, out of here. What question. you saying? I'm inside a skidster. Kick it this way. Great. That looks awesome, bud. This is Wallace the Hippo's big debut. He's got a stage. He's got adoring fans. But is he ready for his close up? Here we go. This could be forever, just so you know. Can't expect an animal to just explode out of its enclosure. It's, this is a whole, especially a baby, this is a whole new territory. A new world the hippo's having no part of. The hyenas know they're getting a new neighbor. And I'm not quite sure if they like it yet. All of the animals kind of watched us with that crate. They know what's happening when they see a new enclosure going up. They all know. He's thinking about it. Fuck, he's coming. Everybody quiet. Quiet. No move there. It may be Wallace's big day, but he's not budging. Don't move. Bud, shut up. This is a big moment. Wallace, an 18-month-old Nile hippo born in a zoo in Jakarta, Indonesia, is about to make his big debut. He was gonna take that first step. And the wolves started, and the cougars started, and the coyotes, and the dingoes, and they all started howling. He kind of stuck back and was like, Whoa. <laughs> Hi, why don't you go outside there? He may be the first hippopotamus to ever set foot on Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Step on that, Derek, that's Michigan soil. Success. And the hippo's home! And he's like, water! Welcome to your new home, baby. Look at him, bud. You got a hippo in the Yuki. Look at him. He's like, what's going on? Oh, look at Ooh, yeah, we like that. I'm so excited. He's going in, he's going in. Hippos are native to Africa, yet they have no sweat glands. So to keep cool, they spend as much as 16 hours a day underwater. Ah! <laughs> That's when it all hit me and it was just like, we got a hippo. All this hard work, all of the anguish, everything, it, it was just melted away and it was just pure joy and excitement. <laughs> I built the pool deep enough. Look at his little hippo ears. The ears. <gasps> and they have these itty bitty little adorable ears and then they and the water sprouts all over. It is the cutest thing ever. I love the ears. Save your piggy banks, because we need a girl hippo now. It was super cool. It was super funny. Have you guys ever seen a hippo before? No? It's my first time seeing hippo. And the family continues to grow. Mm.